Tina, all the ones that work so hard for us to, to make this a success. And this is so beautiful. It was even a surprise for me. I wasn't here, my friends did it all. So I'm very, I'm very grateful to all of you. And usually at my events, I never talk platform or politics or anything because it's usually a, a fun event. And today is going to be a fun event, but since the uh, elections are very close by, I mean, are very close, uh, we, we, I, I'm going to start talking a little bit about what's my main point uh, for, for looking for this position. There are many things that the Justice of the Peace does and many things that I, I want to bring some new, fresh ideas to the court. But the main one is going to be the truancy problem. Uh, this is something that I started getting interested when I, when I was teaching children on probation and the children in Cameron Park. And I saw the need and the problems that these children are facing and I would like to do something to prevent them from being criminals and a burden to our society. And this is, I planned for the, when the children don't go to school, they bring them before the Justice of the Peace Court. And usually, nobody is doing anything. Usually, they just find the parents and send them home. So my, my new idea for this is going to be to take the court to the schools. So the children are not going to miss any more school and the parents are not going to miss work. That's number one. Number two, the universities came aboard and they offer their, um, their psychology majors to do internships for the families free of charge for therapy for, for, for the families. And also, the churches are also offering to have volunteers work with the families and the children to teach morals, principles, and behavior. So this is mainly what, what I bring very new to the table. Also, of course, I plan to run the court as a business where everybody is treated with dignity and respect for their time and their problems and also have it very, very efficient with high technology so everything is going to be transparent and efficient. Also, my friends, I can't stress enough that we need to vote. Our city needs our voice. And the elections are going to be from May 14 to May 25th. And the last day is going to be May 29th. So please, don't forget to vote. Thank you.